Is it always 2.30? It's always 2.30. You want to show everybody? Why? It's time to go to the dentist. 2.30. That exists just for this joke? Yep. Cool. Good morning, John. I'm here with Tessa Violet, musician and singer and songwriter and friend of mine. We're going to do a thing. There's a Wikipedia page called Wikipedia Unusual Articles. I'm obsessed with this page. I don't know who curates it or how it gets made. I found out about this list from Wendover Productions. He does a series on this page. But I thought that we would just take five minutes, scroll through, pick one each, and then teach each other about the bizarre reality of the world. I'm thrilled. I'm making me feel like you're on my island on my permanent vacation. Touch, 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 touch. I could be a crush, 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 crush. Sorry. There was once a place, I think it's still a place, called the Hala Ka Grabari. It was the only third order enclave. What does that mean? It sounds pretty creepy, right? Yes. But it's not that creepy. It, but it is very weird. It was a piece of India within a piece of Bangladesh that was within a piece of India that was within a piece of Bangladesh. Wow. So when they made the, the border between India and Bangladesh, there were lots of places where there were like Indian people living inside. I love everything about this. Although maybe it was bad for them, was it? Well, it turned out that it was complicated and difficult to manage. This one was 7,000 square meters, a little less than two acres. Difficult to like provide services for the people who lived there. They started to basically swap them until they had no enclaves. And that was in 2015. So this was r relatively recently that they that they this finally. 2015. I thought you were gonna say this was like the 1700s. No. I mean, I hope it all turned out okay. That's my thought. What do you have for me? I've got a cool one. Tempest prognosticator. Yep, that's probably that how you say right. that. The year is the 19th century. <laughs> the century is 1842. Specifically, it's 1850. And oh my gosh, that was pretty close. Inventor, Dr. Merriweather, invents this thing to tell whether or not a storm is coming. Oh. And he uses 12 leeches in a, as you can see, it's set up in sort of a round it's thing. It's like a carousel of leeches. Yes. Leeches, I guess, crawl upward and out of the water when they sense a storm is coming. Really? The leeches crawl up and they knock like into a tube and they knock a whalebone out, which rings a bell. And it was pretty accurate. Wow. Now, of course, we've got all the satellites and we've got barometric pressure and all that jazz, but we didn't have that. So instead it was like, well, the leeches know. Yeah. The leeches have satellites. Yeah. They're I mean, a little you civilization. Say that it didn't suck. What Sorry, to leech their own. I don't know how to compete with that. It's really pretty. Is this an actual picture of it? Yeah, this is a replication of it. And those are real leeches inside. I don't think so. Where do you get leeches? Now, I don't know. Then, any, from any doctor. Yours was better than mine. That was so good. I control f for frightening is how I found that. <laughs> Meteorology by frightened Annelid. Annelid, which Annelid. is a worm. How's my book? Oh my gosh, it's so good. She got a copy of my book. It's so freaking Good. I'm not much of a reader. I Reading is a bit of a chore for me. I very rarely finish books, even books that I like. Oh, I've started Sunday. Today is Monday and I'm three quarters through it and I was walking down the street reading it because I couldn't put it down. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for watching and for saving Tessa's new single Crush on Spotify or watching it on YouTube or wherever digital musics are found. Yeah, go jam to that. I like it a lot. Tell all your friends to like it too. I can't wait for the full album to come out. It's so good. Me too. John, I'll see you on Tuesday. Hi. I remember you reached out to me um, and you were like, hey, do you want to host this show? It's trivia. Really? Do you have a green screen? And I was like, Mom, Hank Green emailed me. <laughs>